Hello, winning agenda fans. Uh, host Brian Allen here with Jesse Marshall. Jesse Marshall on Jinteki.net, and we're playing Jesse's Kate Stealth Rig post most wanted list. So, Jesse, how do you feel about this hand? I think uh, I might know how you feel about it. There's an integral card in there. Yeah, the first oh. one I wasn't so keen on, uh, but this one has two integral cards, not just one. Well, three integral mm. cards, um, being professional contacts, which I always like to have, uh, technical rider, which you want early rather than late, and Plascrete, which is good mm. against Grindel. Uh, how have you found technical rider? Obviously, it's very, very good if you have it, you know, maybe on the first second or second turn, like in this situation, but it's a really, really dead card to have later in the game, uh, uh, as opposed to some other... Uh, cards that could take up that same slot, such as daily casts. Um, how, how have you found it? Yeah, so daily casts is a um, a plus five if you're not counting the cl click to install, uh, but it happens over four turns. I've always liked daily casts as a card, uh, but technical rider. The thing that I like about it is it gives you a big payoff at the time when you most need it, which is after you've spent your early um, burst econ cards. Um, deploying your rig and made maybe one or two big runs you then often are dry but technical riders at that point will be loaded mm -hmm. with credits ready to feed you which is handy so we're playing a grindle here so we're starting with uh, some some bad pub what do you think to see out of our opponent are you going to be wary about the, the the kill combo or uh you think they just might be going for a long game with big fat eyes for that extra starting credit pool uh you just like to play it safe anyway, by the looks of things? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always like to um, get out the Plascrete against uh, Grindle and similar decks. Probably, it, it, if I wasn't blabbering away there, I should have contacts before installing the cl um, Cloak and then could have had the second Technical Rider out as well. Um, but that's okay. Happy mm. to. We'll focus, Jesse. Don't, don't worry about what we're doing over here. Just yeah. make sure you win the game. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Now, do you, with Plascrete, uh, do you usually play it out early? As I know some people are tempted to just leave it there, you know, as we've heard people like Ad Abram Jop say on the, the podcast, you know, you play it exactly when you need it. Because by playing it early no. like this, do you think you like playing it early? So yeah. you're probably going to be like, well, I'm going to discard the Scorch rather than well, hang on to it? Well, that's good for me because the only reason you would ever play this identity, which I don't like very much, is if you want to kill people. And yeah. if our opponent abandons the idea of ever being able to kill us, then that's pretty good. You're okay with that? You're, as opposed to them now knowing that they had to put all their resources into trying to win the game from such an early point? Yeah, I mean, yes. Because yeah. I, there is a very low likelihood that a Wayland deck is going to actually be able to keep us out in this position. Mm -hmm. um, assuming that one of those two ice, we can either draw an answer for in our first couple of clicks or Dagger will answer it. We should be able to get through and mm -hmm. steal whatever that is. So what have we got there? You think you, what's the plan? Are you going to run that now? Uh, probably. We, we've yes. got another uh, SMC there too. Don't have the extra memory for it though yet. No. So what's your plan here for this turn? Uh, so the ideal situation would have been we would have had one more credit and could have used the SMC to get uh, a refractor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we could have drawn this SMC, which we didn't know we were going to draw, <laughs> um, in order to get our second breaker. But we don't have that luxury at the moment. Uh, so what I think we'll do, our opponent does have 17 credits. Um, we don't want to let them have a five for three for free. It could be something like a June bug. You never know out of a Grindle deck, what sort of strange shenanigans you're going to see. Um, but a June bug, we can be safe from at, uh, four cards. So if we draw once more and then play the dagger and then run, um, we'll, we'll be too low on credits probably to realistically get in anywhere. Uh, cause I, I dare say one of these will be a barrier. You'll also be draining your opponent, I assume. Quite a few credits there. Um, and you're not necessarily behind an econ. I mean, obviously, you don't have many credits, but you've got the technical rider on, you're running on stealth rig, you've got the professional contacts out, so you're not really at a, at a negative there. Right? Yeah, so I think the, the better thing is just to try and force a couple of reses at least to get ourselves some information. We might not get into the server and steal that, mm -hmm. but it means that it, that's going to be less safe in the future and we will have used our Kate discount for this turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty much uh, what we can be worried about is destroyers and if because our sentry break is in our hand. But if we do hit a destroyer, we don't really care about losing these two programs because they're both things that we've mm -hmm. not invested a lot in. You're not going to run now? Uh, no, I'm going to run. You're um, not going to play the dagger? No, I'm not going to play the dagger because then we can't afford to use this to get something okay, else sure, if sure. we need to, um, or if we want to rather. Yeah. Because there is a chance that these ice may not be resable for some reason. Like yeah. one of them might be an archer, yeah, sure. and we might just get it. Ice fall there. Yeah. 
Now, you're all concerned that the second piece of ice may be a uh, killer or a destroyer? Rather. Yeah, that's fine. Again, we haven't used any of our clone chips yet, and we're getting benefit from two technical riders for every install we make. Oh, yeah, that's really good, isn't it? So, destroyers are not particularly an issue here. Um, so, I'm going to use uh, the stealth credit, because we're not going to be using any other icebreakers this turn anyway. Hey, um, about breaking barriers? It's a good thing to do. I little quite enjoy engine. it. Right. right. So little engine is something that you're going to destroy very easily with your is going to be really fantastic for us. It's actually <laughs> going to make us money whenever yeah. we make a run on that server. Yeah. Um, smiley face. Smiley yeah, face. That's good. nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. We'll jack out. I don't think we need what to respond. What are we going to discard here? Uh, um, probably the dagger. I was going to say. You, yeah. You I don't generally like it. having breakers in my hand. Yeah. It's sort of the worst place for them. Mm hmm. Alright, so we think we're going to see a score for our opponent here. We're going to see the awkward, uh, my failed trap. Probably not the failed trap. No. Could just be a 4 for 3. Uh, if it's an five three. Atlas, an Atlas with uh, two that's, counters on That's pretty it. much <laughs> the best thing for us that it can be because yeah, Atlas right. kind of sucks. Like, Atlas you, counters suck when your opponent has a plus grade. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's still two more points from hostile takeovers, but then we can sort yeah. of blow them out with um, Clot anyway. That's yeah. kind of funny. Um, so this turn. We can. We're in a quite a good position. Yeah, here. looks looks healthy. Um, oh, the hedge fund's good there. Sorry, sure gamble. Uh, yeah. Do you want to play out your other SMC? So I I'll, do. I'll, I'll and then this passive credit gain, peripheral credit gain, I should say, from the technical riders when you're playing out cards like SMC seem really good, especially yeah. with Kate's discount as well. Yeah. Uh, Give you the cloak there too. So Still what I'm going to do here yeah? is um, use. Uh, the SMC and then play the cloak, I think. Uh, just for memory's sake. Yeah. Oh, so um, you're forgiving the discount there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what are you going to tutor up with the SMC? A refractor. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to you're, hope. You're happy to do that now? Give you the opponent the information? Yes. Um, just for the fact that um, we will be, yeah, yeah. We'll be, we will be able to play another mm. program this turn. Um, Cool. So, yeah, I mean, that's charging up our technical riders. And, and when are you happy to pop them? Are you just happy to go until you need it or you want to get them to high as possible? Or? No, I'm going to pop one next turn. I'm going to take yeah. this seven credits next yeah. turn and then short gamble because that's going to set us up for the yeah. mid-game quite well. What do you think it's likely to be on the um, the upgrade in R&D there? Not sure. It could Chrisium be Chrisium. Green? I yeah, think it's more yeah, likely. quite likely it's yeah. Chrisium. Yep. Uh, so we'll contacts first. The that's there, really nice. Good. So we can modded an HQ interface. Well, do you want to go for the R and D interface because that's uh, it, it does, gets around Chrysium. It, gets around it yeah. does, um, and we will play them at some point. But I don't think our opponent will be expecting us to run HQ this mm -hmm. turn. Are you going to run HQ this turn? I am going to run HQ this turn. You're not worried about destroyers or sentries, rather? Uh, no. Still not. Yeah. Because your opponent, our opponent, does know that you've discarded your dagger and you don't currently have a way to recur it. True. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take eight credits from the technical rider. I'm not going to short gamble? No. Um, and then I'm going to run HQ. So we're still on... Wrap around. Okay. Wrap around, yeah, okay. That really exciting. Well, there could actually be a snare here, I suppose. But are you worried about snare? Uh, you... Ten influence, and we've got three so far. Am I worried about snare? Yes. Because um, it's your last click? Yes. And you don't want to lose your any of your your resources, I assume. Yes. So probably could just jack out mm -hmm. at that point. No, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Foster res. We'll just go in next turn instead. Oh, their opponent is... Unless they're being very coy. Um, they may have told us that they don't have a snare in hand. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. Possibly. <laughs> I think it's just... Uh, even on the internet, it's important to play the same whether you're winning or losing. Yeah. Uh, so we've just seen a, uh, a power shutdown, which is a great card there. Uh, okay. With a value of one. So. Uh, yeah. It is a little bit annoying to see that, yeah. but we've got an extra. Like, we've got a redundant cloak in the deck anyway, mm -hmm. so we won't necessarily need to use a clone so chip on that. Cloak, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll contacts. Uh, so we've got the card in the remote. Um, contacts first, just see what we draw. Uh, I'm going to run that remote second. Do you want a second run? Yeah. Contact Shore Gamble. 
No, uh, just for because the later clicks and the Turner clicks we don't want to use running if we think that there might be a snare. Okay. And sure. there's no problem with doing a short gamble later considering yeah. we're already on 11 and, credits. And you're going to use, you're to use and your ghostwriter credits to get through there? Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to give us like heaps of credits yeah. for no particular reason, so that'll be sweet. Um, yeah, so we'll continue. Sweet. Take two stealth credits and pump the refractor. And then break two. Yeah. Oh, you're just making money there, aren't you? Yeah. This is a Jackson. Yeah, so that's being used. About that. It's fine? That's fine. Um, if we get power shut down to gain, like we lose the other cloak, that's also fine. So presumably we're going to see... Now, no, Jackson okay. Howard and restructure. So power shut down did get shuffled in, which is yeah. kind of nice for us. It's only two cards, shuffle Jackson... Oh, one, oh, one face and down a, a face down card, which we'll assume is an yeah. agenda. Um, so I'm going to contact one more time here in case I draw another modded for one of these interfaces because yeah. I want to get them down as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Lucky fine. Uh, which is also fine. Yeah. Now how do you find the click... Uh, the, not the click compression, the anti-click compression from Lucky Find in this current build? Um, it's a little bit annoying and it's like any um, uh, burst econ option, it's better early than late. But Lucky Find is a really versatile card, more so than Sure Gamble, because it reco you can recover from 3 to 9. Yeah. Which can be really important in the first half of a turn later in the game. Uh, so we'll contact again here and just to see what we find. We don't really need the money at this point. No, um, you're not looking so to fight a trace anytime. I'm so going to run time. HQ for this Check click. This yeah. You can use a real credit to do that, right? Um, yeah. You might as well. Yeah. I don't think we I might run R&D, actually. Oh, Atlas. Very good. It's productive. Um, you can run R&D. Might run HQ again, I think. Like again. So Just you... get more information. If yeah, it's a snare, sure, sure. that's fine. Snare's pretty much break the worst thing we can find at this point. Gotta, gotta break the... Ah, yes. Punitive's yeah. not gonna be a problem with the amount of money that we have. I mean, Kronos Project. Okay, so quite a few agendas. So Don't I'd... take the question from Cloak, you play with the bad Ah, oh, sure, oh, yeah, sure, forget sure. about that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just plus two. Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's all right. I'll just say, all good. All right, uh, so final click. <coughs> um, <coughs> I think we'll just install an interface manually. <coughs> Pardon you. Um, if I had it had my way there, we wouldn't have been up another two points, so... This is why uh, you were a uh, former national champion. What was, what was your way? <laughs> Not running HQ a second time. Oh, okay, because they, they couldn't possibly have more agendas. Yeah, no, three cards and one ice one. It was pretty unlikely. Um, yeah. So, What's the plan for next turn? Are you going to hit up R&D anytime soon? Uh, well, they've just drawn two fresh cards into that HQ. So. And the protected HQ. And the protected HQ. Okay. Um, <coughs> until we can find a clone ship, I'd actually rather not. Yeah, run, run anyway. face down ice. Uh, I'll just give us one more chance to find a clone ship yeah. and then I'll say, bugger it, let's just go. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, they may have put something like an archer on R&D in the first few turns, banking on getting to this position and feeling really good about it. And what, sacrificing the three for two with two counters on it? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. they can use that. Before they can use the counters the, uh, before, before sure, sure, forfeiting yeah. the agenda to the archer. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to assume that it's not an archer and just give it a bell. See what happens. You didn't want to, um, go in there with the, with the, the Megazine, Megazine just no. in case it is a Grisium. Because I assume it is a Grisium. Yeah. And you've got plenty of credits to trash it, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just break. With your, uh, your bad pub credit? Yeah. Just do it automatically. It does it automatically. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Uh, it's, it's a Will-O-Wisp. Will oh, yeah. That is absolutely fine because we have an SMC. So. That's fine. We have successfully run... Two cards. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, and then we can play the <coughs> SMC. Yeah, sounds good. What are you going to discard one of these lucky finds or the clot? Yeah. The clot. And then on their turn, we can just go and get the corroder, or we could go get a cloak if we want. Yeah. But I'd rather so just go get the corroder. So advance, advance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, they knew you didn't have that clone ship, so they never yep. give you the window there. 
Excellent. And so, we're also on six points, so they yeah. want to get that out of their hand as soon as possible. Makes sense. Another bad pub for us, though, is kind yeah. of sweet. Um, yeah, I think this game's going reasonably well. well. So where are you wanting to run here? Uh, R&D. We'll just... Yeah. We'll just get a C5 we'll cards, in there. so yeah. that'll be fine. Um, we just don't want to die to snare, so we'll be careful of this. Mm -hmm. Break with bad pub. Yeah, still got one bad pub credit, which is good. Government contracts. Very good. Cool. Keep going. <laughs> no, we won't do that to our opponent. <laughs> yeah. We'll be polite. I right, said, so how do you feel about that? Was that a standard sort of game to go through? Obviously, getting done by Will the Wisp and um, Power Shutdown, things you don't normally deal with in most conventional decks. Yeah, but the the good thing about having SMCs and clone chips is your programs have such deep redundancy that you don't really mind about that sort of thing happening. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, it worked out really well. We had a good starting hand, technical rider, and contacts, and then drawing into the second technical yeah, rider right, really, was really, was really good. good. Yeah. yeah, excellent. All right, so guys, uh, stick around. Uh, we're going to be having another game or two. And um, then you can kick on over to the Winning Agenda YouTube channel to check out all our other fantastic content. Cool. Thanks, guys.